This is the brand new DTEC telephone entry system from Dwelling Live and we are going to show you uh, the features and all of the uh, circuitry inside as well as some installation uh, information. So inside the unit you will see that we have our rugged computer uh, monitor. We have the postal switch, weatherproof speaker, and our microphone. On this side we have our computer. This is our relay card that will allow you to uh, trigger a gate. And here we have a sound amplifier and our terminal block for our power supplies. Uh, this was done to allow you to place the AC adapters in another location which would be these two units here and that will avoid having to run high voltage out to the unit for uh, power. Everything feeds in through the back uh, your relays, gate wire relays, uh, power cords and ethernet wall come in through the back and there's also four mounting uh, brackets, uh, holes on the back there so uh, the unit does have the ability to expand to add an HID uh, card reader. This is the plate for the postal lock and you can also purchase an additional barcode scanner housing that was, uh, mounts right there and plugs into an available USB port here in the bottom of the computer. Uh, additionally, your Ethernet cable needs to be fed in from the back behind the plate and come out down at the bottom of the computer where the uh, network port is available. Uh, keep in mind that this plate can be loosened up by the four bolts here and allows you to remove it, uh, making it easier to feed any wires behind it. I think you can also attach a uh, V2000. Additionally, we have mounting holes here for a ver HID vertex panel, um, allowing you to do the HID reader uh, for credentialed access, key fobs, uh, so on. Excellent. Then once they've installed it, how do they get it activated? Uh, once the system is installed and powered on, the computer will automatically start up, the software will load, and bring you to an activation key. Please do not use this activation key. Uh, each machine will generate its own unique ID. Um, that information is then plugged into the Dwelling Live website for that community under visitor management where you're adding a visitor station. This tutorial will guide you through the setup for the Dwelling Live DTEC telephone entry kiosk. The first thing you'll need to do is log into your dealer account. Once logged in, you'll choose the community from your dashboard. Hopefully you've already set the community up. If not, you'd need to add your new community but let's assume that you have added your community to your dashboard. Simply click on the Manage button. The first thing you'll do is go to the Administration tab to the Setup and Billing page. Scroll down and you'll see the product modules that are assigned to this community. You should have received from LiftMaster Dwelling Live your license keys for the telephone entry uh, the license key for the telephone entry system which you would enter here and click add license. If you are also adding the scan kiosk uh, attachment to the DTEC unit you would want to add the visitor management software scan kiosk license key you would enter that here and then click add license. Once you've done that both of the licenses will show up and you are good to go. The next step would be to click on the visitor management tab visitor stations. We're going to add a new station and we're going to add a telephone entry system. You'll give the telephone entry system a name so let's call this one the main gate and here is where you'd enter the activation key that is displayed on the DTEC unit out on site. Once you enter that key you can also choose an administration password for when you're logging into the device on site and you can choose from various uh, different features here the visitor talk time, entry code lockout threshold, the entry code lockout time. 
You can also manage what greeting is on the device as well as the screensaver text. You'll also be able to choose the name of the relay and choose the digit. It's defaulted to 9, but this is the number that the residents dial on their phone when a visitor is at the unit attempting to gain access. And then you can choose from the grant access time. Once completed, you would click Save. The visitor station would now show in your uh, visitor stations. And here we have the Dwelling Live main gate. And let's click Edit. And now we can see all of the information that we had just entered. And again, click Save or make any changes necessary. Under the Visitor Management tab, the Telephone Entry Directory will allow you to add the telephone entry information and will also show you the residence information as well. So if you wanted to add a non-resident uh, information or if you wanted to use an off-site phone number, you simply can put that in there and the visitors can search for that uh, number in the display screen. Under Visitor Management Telephone Entry Codes, you are able to add entry codes. These codes can be used for landscapers, uh, electricians, pool supply, and so forth, uh, vendors to the community that may need access by the entry code. You can create up to a six-digit entry code. Very, very easy to do. If you are trying to uh, import or use a, a lot of entry codes for residents, you can also use the import data off the administration tab, and you can click the telephone entry codes and you can download the template and that template looks like this and here you can put the entry codes and the name that will be displayed and there you have it you would be complete thank you very much Access granted. Welcome. Access granted. Welcome. Access denied. Invalid code. Access granted. Welcome. Access granted. Welcome.